Okay. okay, welcome back to the neodymium magnet experiments. Um, I know you guys have seen, probably have seen some of these magnets go crazy with, you know, electromagnets out on the internet. You know, people have built these crazy coils for some, I don't know what reason, um, <laughs> what they're hoping to achieve really. But, um, you can do kind of the same thing you know, if you take a magnetic tape eraser. This is what happens, I wondered the other day, and this is before I was aware of any of those other experiments, you know, if you take a neodymium magnet and stick it to an AC magnet source. Well, you press the button, <laughs> you get a nice little magnet shooter. So, just stick it on there and <laughs> plop. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt, you know. It, it's it, it's not coming. You know, this isn't a super powerful magnet, but uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't you know uh, propel it off there with so much force that you know you're going to hurt yourself. But um, this is uh, an example though where less is more, because now I'm going to bring the three magnet stack and stick it on there. Let's see what happens. You know, it plops off, but, you know, not with as much velocity, so. Damn it. Now it's gone. Never find those magnets again. Uh, at any rate, you know, it's a little better with a single magnet on there. You know, because that came off a lot more force. And if you put a bigger magnet stack on there, which I guess we can do that real quick, why not? Um wherever that went. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> like aluminum bar thing. Um, now you got that. Now what that did was is the magnets kind of have a reaction. You know, you get a lot of them on there. They actually want to separate. You know, and you've seen that on some other uh, YouTube videos. So it's really better just to do this with one as it could damage these things. And, uh, um, what's well, kind of cool, oh cool, hey that works, you know these things again, some steel in them, you know those are attracted and they don't like it very much. This is under my little table here, I'm not even actually near that magnet, I'm trying to stay away from this thing. <laughs> this is what I first noticed is that, you know, you take that magnet and, you know, it, it does not like, you know, diamond magnets do not like tape erasers. <laughs> See, it tried to attack it. See, it's cornered, it's trapped like a feral beast that it is. And it's trying to attack the AC magnet, little bastard. See? <laughs> Made a run at it. Anyway, you know, I thought that was just kind of cool, you know. I actually bought this thing at a garage sale because I was like, you know, I wonder if this thing would attract aluminum. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, given the fact it's an AC magnet, it's just not quite strong enough. Um, where? Yeah, let's see if my aluminum block here. That's, you know, what's interesting is this electromagnet is definitely affecting it. You know, this is... This, this solid block of aluminum, it won't work on thinner aluminum. But yeah, this is not, you know, the aluminum is definitely resisting the force of this electromagnet. So it must have some pretty good force coming out of it then. I don't have a clue how many bezels these things are, but yeah, you can actually feel it. It's not liking it. <laughs> it certainly won't pick it up, <laughs> but anyway. So. That, that pretty much is all the uh, interesting neodymium magnet experiments that I have for you now. So, I don't know how many of my tapes survive the uh, magnet attacks on the camera. But, uh, anyway, we'll see. Thanks for watching. <laughs>